Brian Lara, will this be his night? He's due, that's for sure. Good shot, beautifully caressed through the offside field. Right off the middle of the bat. And so Lara is off the mark with a four. Two for 35. Oh, in the air, four. Well, that's not a bad shot. The Campbell taking over here. It's just, just, to, um, just to finish that off again, really, Lara should handle Bracken. Left-hander coming into him. That really, uh, from a left-hander's point of view, I would have thought would be a little easier than getting McGraw, who's so accurate, going across him and has got him out so often. Always oh, hit that one hard. Don't uh, worry about chasing that. That's four. So uh, the short delivery missed the first one and uh, has really hit the second one beautifully. That's a couple of boundaries now to Laura. Yeah, good signs for Brian Laura. Good cover drive to get him going. Last over. This time just, just going with that one. It was a bit short. Just swiveled on the back foot and put it away. Not jumping around. And that's a good sign. Over the top. And that'll be four as well. That'll be a growl out of McGraw. Well, Sherman Campbell's now hit two shots like this in the last two McGraw overs. One went over point. This one's even better, straighter. Just going on the length. It's only probably half a metre for the McGraw normally bowls. He's hitting through the line. So maybe some of Lara's positive thoughts are wearing off onto Sherwin Campbell at the moment. Oh, good shot as well. Take that. Through the covers again for four. Is this going to be the West Indians' night? Well, there's certainly no reason it couldn't be. Just shows you how good this wicket is. That ball's skidding onto the middle of the bat. There's not a lot of foot movement from Sherwin Campbell. Just hitting through the line again. And this time along the ground as well. I like to see that from an opening batsman. wonderful work that is a direct hit and it looked to me as though Ponting might have claimed a victim Campbell was struggling he called for the one Lara went straight away there was no uh, problem with that but I would reckon he has a what? was his bat down I just need uh, the third umpire to have a look at that it was a wonderful piece of feeling Campbell was motoring towards the end. Well, I think you'll find that uh, he's out. And I'd say uh, the bales are a fair way up there. And Paul's just hitting the stumps. So I think he's in trouble. He's in deep trouble. He's just got a faint chance. And he's got better than that. The third umpire couldn't quite be certain that part of his bat wasn't over the line. Pretty good effort from uh, the fielder and from Gilchrist, but in the end it was wide. There's indecision from the two batsmen. Lara having turned it, taken two. Campbell's coming back for three. And there was some frenzied shouting. What a feel you are. I'm not going to stop that. Andrew Symes is in his medium pace mold here. Yeah. The Australians have made some exceptional saves, and it's saves like that that are likely to frustrate a batsman and get him trying to hit the ball over the field. Lara hasn't fallen for that here tonight. Oh, that's good. 
Well, Damien Martin is the man who's grabbed it, and it was by no means easy. It may look uh, relatively simple on the replay, but he had to go away to his right, and it was hit right off the meat of the bat by Sherwin Campbell, and that is frustration. Yes, you can put that down to some good saves. Campbell being robbed of some runs that he thought that he was due, decided to try and go over the top, and he never ever looked like clearing Damian Martin. Good diving catch to the right, and it's three for 67. New batsman is Marlon Samuels, who's made a good impression on this tour so far. He's only a young player, and uh, he's uh, displayed stroke playing ability. Good catch again. Nicely bowled by Ian Harvey. It left the batsman. There's no doubt it was uh, a ball that ran off the seam towards the slips. And Marlon Samuels is gone. He followed it. Uh, Harvey's uh, just in very, very good form at the moment. Marlon Samuels chasing that little leg cutter. And he managed to catch up with it. But the Australians catching everything that comes their way. Harvey gets his second victim. It's four for 69. New batsman is Jimmy Adams, the skipper of the West Indies side, who saw them lose one wicket, then put on runs, sustain themselves through a couple of uh, controversial, difficult decisions for the third umpire, and now he's out there himself with Brian Lara. Sweeps, and this time he gets it right off the meat of the bat. That's better. That's what you expect from a top five batsman against a makeshift off spinner. Good evening, Michael. Good evening, Bill. Good evening again to all our viewers. This is a good shot. Not a great deal of risk in that shot unless he gets the top edge. There is a man at a short fine leg, but he gets it right in the middle of the bat. Ah! Bowled him, tried to sweep it away. Warren strikes, not a great shot, and he got a great throw at the other end. But to me, Jimmy Adams didn't look 100% fit. I don't think you would look 100% fit either if you were captain in this team, Bill, with all the pressures that he's under. But obviously, not quite himself. Not a very good shot, as I said. Looking to sweep without giving the stumps as much protection as he should. That right leg not getting across to prevent the ball from coming back onto the stumps. Inside edge, that's all it took to ricochet onto those stumps. Another wicket down for the West Indies. It's five for nine to four. Ricardo Powell, the hero against Zimbabwe at the Gabba, comes in to join Brian Lara. Oh. It's a good sweep shot, gets it fine. That should go all the way. Brings up the hundred. It's good intelligent batting. It's been a pitcher's weak stump. Sweep fine. Good value. Good value. Not too sure Shane won't be too worried about that shot unless he continues to play it well. Because we have seen Shane Warren get people out bold behind their legs sweeping before. I think that's what he was aiming for on that occasion as well. It's gone for him. That's well played. Good comeback. Nine off the over. Five for 106. There it is. That's the equation. 162 of 131. They've got to close that gap a bit and not lose any more wickets. Over the top. That's four. Oh, yes. Four runs. Just for a second, I thought it had gone all the way. And Brian Lara down the wicket there and uh, went sailing over the top of Long On. The umpire uh, just wants to check on this one to see if it didn't perhaps clear the rope down that far end. It'll be difficult to tell from here. Let's see. No, it was short. It was short by a couple of meters, I reckon. So four more to Laura. That takes Laura to 50, 50 or 55. So um, a round of applause here from this crowd. 38 matches, uh, an average there that uh, I think will improve. Very good strike rate. Well, that's in the air, and it's staying up there. This could be caught. It'll be a good catch, mind you. No. 
He's picked it up on the bounce. That's very good fielding. Very, oh, very good fielding. And this may well be out. Well, that throw came in like an absolute rocket. What an incredible bit of fielding. Well, when, when a ball goes up like that and you can pick it up diving, having not caught it, then get a throw in like this and almost, almost run the batsman out. Oh, that's incredible. I was talking earlier about Simon's uh, dive that he's been working on so hard and perfecting when he's actually running towards the boundary and that was coming in towards uh, the batsman. It was a magnificent piece of work. So that uh, brings up the 50 partnership now between these two. In 48 balls, Laura and Ricardo Powell. And the, air, the man at mid on should catch this. And he does. Nathan Bracken with a very good piece of fielding. From the last ball of the previous over. Hangs on to the catch at mid on. That's good bowling from Shane Warne. He realised that uh, Ricardo Powell was getting a bit uh, anxious, wanted to get on with things, threw it up a little bit, but uh, just had enough overspin on it to make a drop on the batsman. Well caught. And uh, the Australians continuing to field well, and that's making the difference in this game. Very big wicket there for Australia at 6 for 161. West Indian all-rounder Laurie Williams comes to the crease with the fall of Ricardo Powell. Chance at the bowler's end. Throws wide. Jane Moore not happy either. Oh, he's gone. He's gone by a long, long way. That was the big spinning leg spinner from Shane Warne. Laurie Williams fell into the shot and was stunned by the best part of a meter or two. Laurie Williams may not have seen a lot of uh, top fast leg spin bowling, I don't think. He was a bit bamboozled by that one. Very good delivery, beating him in the flight and all over for Laurie Williams. That makes it a lot harder for the West Indies now. Seven for 164. Nixon McLean is the new batsman. That's very close indeed, yes. Simon Torple says that's close enough for me. That was a quicker ball from Andrew Simons. Speared in at the stumps. And Nixon McLean was very, very late. And looked very, very plump. And that's why it's not much good Nixon McLean trying to play in a defensive mode. He really needs to be playing as a hitter. At the moment, he's heading for the pavilion having been beaten by the quicker one from Andrew Simons. And the West Indies are collapsing pretty quickly here now. It's eight for 166. Colin Stewart plays to Nixon McLean at the crease. Big hit. The man won't get this either. This is going a long, long way. There's a six again. This is fantastic cricket. Go Brian and Lara, they're crying. Standing ovation. He's taken them on single-handed here. Difficult assignment, but what an innings. What a shot. Well, it's now really beginning to um, pour down. There.